Hello, I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Nadia Sal, a Principal Technology Analyst at ID Tech X. Now, antimicrobial technologies are a very hot topic, as you can imagine, with COVID-19. Nadia, what are some of the technologies in this area? Yeah, that's a very good question, Radu. So um, from our research, we found that uh, the key technologies um, in, in antimicrobials are silver, copper, zinc. Um, there's a class of silane quaternary ammonium compounds that are also commonly used. Um, from our research, silver is by far the most dominant technology in this field. Um, you have to keep in mind that humans have known about uh, the antimicrobial properties of silver and copper for thousands of years. And so how are companies innovating in this industry? What, what's new and, and what's the progress towards that? Yeah, so in terms of the key technologies, the innovation is incremental. So companies are looking at new ways to uh, incorporate the silver or copper into um, materials such as plastic. So uh, sequestering the silver so that it only releases when it's needed um, rather than uh, be removed through cleaning or washing. Um, new technologies are ensuring that the material is durable, that its antimicrobial effect is long lasting. Um, other companies are looking at different mechanisms of action. So looking beyond metal ion based technologies, um, titanium dioxide is an interesting one where uh, light activates um, the generation of reactive oxygen species. And from there, um, uh, that kills the microorganisms rather than having uh, titanium dioxide enter the, the cells. Um, what's really exciting are some biomimetic technologies. So uh, people are looking at mimicking uh, shark skin, for example, um, preventing bacteria from adhering to surfaces uh, through surface patterns. And uh, finally, applications. So uh, historically, Antimicrobials are used in healthcare settings to prevent infections, um, but we can look beyond that to uh, food preparation, to uh, agriculture, and of course, um, COVID-19, uh, many of us have uh, taken it home and are using it in, in the more consumer setting. Yeah, so that's going to be my follow-up question. What impact has COVID-19 had on this sector? Yeah, so that's really interesting. Antimicrobials are, you know, the very few industries that have been positively impacted um, due to COVID-19. Um, it's been, 2020 has been a year of uh, pivots, uh, I would say probably record number of new products and unprecedented growth, really. Um, the virus, uh, as we saw um, from studies, lasts for a long time on common surfaces that we have uh, around us. And so companies pivoted quickly to making antimicrobial films, for example, um, as you can see here on the slide, mm -hmm. uh, quickly um, pulling that over existing services like a credit card terminal, uh, a door handle, for example. And so which of these products have been most popular in COVID-19? Yeah, so um, of course, uh, any solution that can be sprayed on or coated on has been very popular. Uh, Antimicrobial films have been very popular. And um, you know, after the importance of respiratory droplets and aerosols um, was emphasized, then face masks became very popular as a product as well. So uh, on this slide, I show some companies that were not involved in in making antimicrobial face masks prior to 2020. And, and these companies were quickly able to develop these products and, and launch. Um, I just want to highlight HiQ here, which is a very interesting story. They developed this um, viral block technology uh, as a result of the first SARS pandemic um, back in 2003. And so at the beginning of the year, they were um, very quick in uh, taking that out of um, uh, putting that back uh, on track and, and launching the product. And for their efforts, they've um, they've doubled their revenues over 2020 and have since uh, been launched on um, the London Stock Exchange. Wow. So you've recently done a complete study of this whole area for ID TechX, the new report. Tell us more about that report. 
Certainly. So a um, new report uh, was launched recently, and in the report, uh, we look at um, the key technologies, as I um, as we talked about uh, earlier, and um, look at the different applications, markets. Um, we've reviewed over 100 companies, uh, looking at their business models um, and, and so on. So, uh, yeah, please um, look to our report for more information. Nadia, thanks very much. Thank you, Raghu.